spoken and phonetics for teenagers and adult learners. Class 6 Kotogulo Nito Projonio English Expressions Shikhenaja A bottle of milk A glass of water A jug of water A cup of tea A packet of tea A jar of honey A loaf of bread A slice of bread Sir, what's the difference between a loaf of bread and a slice of bread? A slice I mean in a part a small portion and a loaf which you can eat by taking. Okay. A cartoon of milk. A can of Coke. A bottle of Coke. What do you prefer, a can or a bottle? Both. You prefer both. Mm -hmm. That means you don't prefer a can, you don't prefer a bottle, <laughs> but you prefer both. Yeah. Okay. A bowl of sugar. A kilo of meat. Well, is kilo the weight of the meat or the mass of the meat? That's a scientific thing. Yes, that is. A bar of soap. A bar of chocolate. A piece of chocolate. A piece of cheese. A piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go for some sentences, right? Yeah, they are really important and they are definitely used in our daily life. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for the first one. Okay. Mom, we need to buy a bottle of milk for Tisol. May I get a glass of water? Sure. Please bring a jug of water. Would you like to have a cup of tea? Why not? <laughs> How much is this packet of tea? I'll buy this jar of honey. Sure. Please give me a loaf of or a slice of bread. Here you are. Buy this cartoon of milk for mom. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How much is this can of or bottle of Coke? I need a bowl of sugar, a bowl of rice, a bowl of flour. Let me buy a kilo of meat or a kilo of potatoes. I'd like to buy a bar of soap or a bar of chocolate. Bring me a piece of cheese. We need to buy a piece of furniture. Zorin, what is the next topic? Saying hello and goodbye. Well, I think these are the alternatives of saying hello and goodbye because all the time we keep using the word hello, we always use goodbye. But what else can we say instead of hello and goodbye, right? Right, at first. And uh, there we'll are go many for ways hellos. to respond to, right? Right. We'll go for hellos first, right? Okay. So I'll tell the first one, I'm in the first column, and we'll go for the second one, right? Or shall I say the responses and you the greetings? Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Hey. Hello there. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Cool and dandy. Howdy, friend. Keeping cool. What's up? Crummy. Well, Zirin, you need to remember, when you see, I mean, when you say crummy, when your, your mood is not okay, you're in bad mood, life is not good, it's dull, then you say, Crummy. It's crummy. So, what's up? Crummy. How is it going? Just great. Wow, it's good to see you. As usual. Hi there. Hey, how are you doing? Fine and dandy. Hello, how have you been? Keeping cool. It's good to see you. How's life been treating you? I am in heaven. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same as here. Oh my god, it's you. Touch me. Ah, where have you been? I was hiding, definitely. My goodness, long time no speak. I was hibernating. My goodness, long time no see. I was hibernating. That is really cool, right, Zirin? Yes, that's I mean, we can way color, too cool. We can color our speech. Yes. The line, I am in heaven, it just mesmerized me because whenever we are in such a good mood, we feel like we are in heaven, right? Mm. 
Now the second one is called the goodbyes phrases, right? But I see a coat before that is parting is such sweet sorrow. That's what Shakespeare said. What does it mean? Parting meaning separating. I mean you are leaving somebody saying goodbye. So parting is such sweet sorrow. That's a very good collocation. Sorrows cannot be sweet. But it's yeah. a is yeah ironically we can say sweet sorrow sometimes you need to say goodbye to somebody yes so like before we will we will practice this way i'll go for the expressions, expressions and i'll go for the responses, responses. bye 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 for now see ya bye bye later see ya see ya so long ciao ciao cheerio Cheerio. Farewell. See you around. So long. Farewell. Tara. Tara. When I see you again. <laughs> see you again. Tata for now. Tata for now. Goodbye. Catch you later. Bye. Goodbye. Catch you later. See you soon. Okay, you all the best. Hmm. Now what is the next activity? Jokes for presentation? Aha. Uh -huh. So, what is the first joke? Let me read this. No, I should be reading the first one. Okay. I see this is very funny. Mm -hmm. Let's laugh. Number one. Politicians and diapers have one thing in common. They should both be changed regularly and for the same reason. They get rotten, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. To steal ideas from one person is called plagiarism. To steal ideas from many is called research. What? I mean, in Bangla, it's called great chorarki. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or the next one. If four out of five people suffer from diarrhea, does that mean that one enjoys it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny indeed. A bus station is where a bus stops. A train station is where a train stops. On my desk, I have a workstation. So that doesn't mean that my work stops there. Yeah. My work, work starts there. Now, let's go for the limerick. It's also I, funny. Hmm, what do you mean by limerick? Well, we already know. I told in one of the classes that a limerick is a five-line funny poem and it consists of five stanzas. The first, second and fifth lines rhyme the same mm -hmm. and the third and fourth lines rhyme the same. Ah. Uh -huh. So we'll go line by line, right? Yes. Okay. What is the name of the limerick today? My boy. Who is your boy? Actually, listen. I said my boy. I did not say my boy. So whenever I hear some of the American people, they say my boy. They don't say the why that much clearly. It just like is like my boy hmm. so this is one kind of a modern pronunciation so i just wanted to tell you this yeah. because you are a british pe person and i'm an american person yeah. right tricky answer i know I understand. yes okay little boys are often a bunch of trouble they fight and bite and play in a rubble they're cute and fun and they like to run and as they grow the trouble will double oh my god that's very and now troubling for we, us. We will go for a single version. Okay. You'll, you'll read the full one. Okay. So this says um, it's called Yazir. It's your name, right? Yeah, no. your name, your name. Yeah. Your name. He is his own man. He's a dreamer who thinks of beauty and he's a doer who works to excel. He's the fighter who believes in love and he is a lover who believes in trust he knows his strengths and weaknesses and he listens to his heart that guides him he is the type of person who makes one understand what true friendship is really hmm now uh, let me talk about myself in a bit different way okay i'm my own man I'm a dreamer and think of beauty. I'm a doer and work to excel. So what does the line work to excel mean? Uh, this word comes from the word excellent. The verb is excel. So it means that I have excellence in every work mm -hmm. that I do. Like that. I'm a fighter and believe in love. I'm a lover and believe in trust. 
I know my strengths and weaknesses. I listen to my heart that guides me. I'm a type of person who makes one understand what true friendship is. So you fight to love and you love to trust. Yeah, can you read this for you? Yeah, sure. I'm my own girl. I'm a dreamer and always think of beauty. I'm a doer and work to excel. I'm a fighter and I believe in true love. I'm a lover and I believe in trust. I know my strengths and weaknesses. I always listen to my heart that guides me. I'm a type of person who makes one understand what true friendship and true love is. Now, Zara, what is the next activity? Let's talk about Mr. Akram, right? Okay. Okay, so read this. He is a warrior for those he loves. He is the nurturer for those he cares about. He is a friend who can always be counted upon and he is the man who speaks his heart. He loves with his heart and he feels deeply. He is the perfect blend of toughness and sensitivity and there are few that can make you understand friendship like him. Now, if we go for our self version, I can read this. We talked about somebody else. Yeah. I am a warrior for those who I love. I'm the nurturer for those I care about. I'm a friend and can always be counted upon. I have a sixth sense and that intuition. I'm friendly and contented. When I feel someone, I feel deeply from heart. When I'm with someone, I'm fully with him or her. When I sacrifice, I can do it 100%. When I take action, I take it without mercy. I believe in myself and that is my strength. I hate breaking relationship. If you want a friend who will be fully yours, you can think about me. I'm a believer in God and so I'm all time happy. I'm a true patriot and I'm ready to sacrifice my life for my motherland. Oh, that's so sweet. That's lovely. So, happy, happy learning.